This is video 4 of our basic maintenance on a Messi Ferguson 165. Thank you Sparex for sponsoring this one. Um, go check out Sparex website for more details on tractor parts. They have almost all the Messi Ferguson parts that you need. Um, thank you very much guys. The day-to-day -day maintenance on your tractor is very important to do. But also it is very important to change your engine's oil as well. Tractors like these have an hour meter. Normally the meter is located in front of you on the dashboard. But on older tractors like this, the chance that your, the meter is broken is very good. So how do you know when to change your oil? Um, if you don't have any clue, do it once a year. I think if you do it once a year, you would be okay. To change your oil is a very simple process. I'm going to take you through the steps now and, and then I will show you what you need to do to cover the basics. To drain your tractor's oil, you first start by parking the tractor level. Make sure that the tra your tractor is standing level on the ground and this side underneath your engine you will get your oil drain plug. So you take a spanner and you loosen that plug. When you, when you take out the plug, the oil will, of the engine will come out. Make sure that you have an efficient pan to um, catch the oil. That is very important. While the oil is draining out of your engine, you can start by changing your oil filter. Now, your oil filter is loca located here on the side of the engine. And on top here, you will get the little bolt that you loosen. When you loosen that bolt, this steel cover will come off and inside that cover we have something that we call an element filter and you get a new one and you put a new element filter inside and then you take this hole you unscrew this whole um, metal cover back on again when you are, when you are finished changing out your oil filter you can move over to your diesel filter you have two diesel filters on this tractor. One is located this side and the other one is located on the other side. Um, it's very important to get both fuel filters. You can go to your nearest dealer um, and ask for the filter. This one is a gut filter and it is a G629. Uh, and when you go around tractor, on this side you will see it's also a G629 gut filter, fuel filter. So get both fuel filters. They are also easy to replace. You will see on top here you have the small little bolt. You loosen that bolt and this metal part underneath here will come off. And then your new filter, have new gaskets and o-rings. And you put, put in, you take out all the old gaskets and o-rings. You will see this one on top here, one at the bottom. And you uh, just put it back again. Your battery is also important to maintain. And this tractor's battery is located under the steering wheel. You have a cover that you can open to check on things. The battery of this tractor is located underneath the steering wheel. Um, when you open the cover here, the, what you must look for is your cables. Look that your battery cables is in good quality. That there is no um, places that is broken on it um, that can short out to the body that could um, result in a fire. Also, if you see your battery terminal and you see this asset, you must clean that asset as often as possible, and you can. And you can put on grease here yeah, to prevent the acid. So if you look at this negative battery um, terminal, you can see this is cracked. Uh, what happened here is the bolt over there has been tightened too much and then it snaps. Um, also sometimes if you have the wrong terminal, you might, for example, you put a positive one here on the negative side, you uh, must tighten it so much so they let the um, battery terminal crack and um, then it breaks so just make sure if you look at the battery terminals um, you make just make sure you buy the correct one good at this stage all your engine oil has been drained out of your tractor 
you have replaced it, your fuel filters, you have replaced your oil filter, your engine oil filter that is located on the other side of the engine. Uh, now you must put fresh oil back into your engine. So what you first thing you do is, is underneath the sump plug that you disconnected, that's under there, you um, tighten that back down again. And at the front of the engine, you can see this is where you put in the oil. So just make sure when you put in the oil, uh, some tractors, some engines use a 30 engine oil, some engines use a 15W40 engine oil. Just ask your um, dealer, they will give you the correct oil to put in your engine. Uh, a four-cylinder diesel engine like this use more or less 10 liters of engine oil. So if you buy 15 liters of engine oil, that would be enough oil to service your engine.